Losing unexpectedly may be considered one of the hardest things to talk about right after it happens. And that is exactly what Tim Tebow did. Even though it may be difficult to explain how you lost or what went into the game to make you guys lose, he did an excellent job reuniting Gator Nation and the fans and the team itself. Tebow's speech is one of the most famous college football speeches to ever be given by a player himself. During Tim Tebow's speech, he showed great leadership to his team and dedicated the rest of the season to winning a national championship for the fans of Gator Nation and for his team. And about Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow was homeschooled through his entire high school career and middle school and just his entire school career. He dealt with controversy because being a homeschooled student, he could play football in any team in his district. So he started off his high school career playing for a local public school, but then switched through his sophomore year to a private school. And no one really liked that because he was a stud quarterback playing for a private school. No one liked private schools. Um, he played college football for the Florida Gators, and he won two national championships with them. One in 06 as a sophomore, which he did not start, but he still got a ring, and one in 08, which was the season of this speech. He also won the Heisman in 2007, as the Heisman is like the MVP of the college football playoff, or like the college football season. So that's a pretty big deal for him. He also played in the NFL for the Broncos, and he also played in the MLB for the New York Mets. Where and when? It took place on September 27, 2008. This picture is taken after the game when they lost to Ole Miss. Ole Miss was an unranked college football team who they were just supposed to blow by. They weren't even supposed to be a challenge, but instead they were. It came down to a last play, down 30 to 31 on a fourth and one. Tim Tebow ran the ball up the middle and got stopped. His team instantly felt defeat. Now, I just want to say one thing um, to the fans and everybody in Gator Nation. Um, I'm sorry. I'm uh, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal. Seven and four is never done here. But I promise you one thing, a lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. And you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season. And you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of the season. God bless. Why will it endure? The speech will endure because the Florida Gators were supposed to be number one throughout the entire season. They were ranked number one as they were playing Ole Miss, and a team who has a loss under their belt almost never gets into the college football playoff. Instead, they got beaten and against the unranked Ole Miss team, and it sparked a flame in Tim Tebow. He told the audience, how hard he was going to push his team, how hard he was going to push himself to win the national championship for this team. Significance then and now. They actually put Tim Tebow's speech on a plaque sitting outside of their stadium because of how important <coughs> it was to the fans and everyone of Gator Nation. They just wanted everyone to remember it every time they walked into the stadium. His hard work paid off that season. As you can see here, this is Tim Tebow holding the trophy, which is like a football made out of like diamonds. The fans of Gator Nation cherished and loved Tim Tebow because of how hard he worked and how hard he pushed his team and he kept his promise and just how special of a quarterback he was for the team. Rhetorical devices. The first one is illusion. 
Tim Tebow tells the media what's going to happen before it even happens. He says that they're going to win a national championship and how hard he's going to push the team, but he doesn't know that for sure. He just wants them to think that, and he wants to bring a championship to Florida. The second one is repetition. He uses the phrase, you will never, signifying how hard he's going to work and how like the fans have never seen anyone work harder than he will. And dystrophy. He uses I'm sorry over and over to give them his emotions. And as you can see in the video, he was very emotional after the loss and was even tearing up. Ethos, logos, and pathos. Ethos was you will never see someone push the rest of the team as I will push everyone. He wants to push the entire team because he obviously cannot do it by himself. He's not a one-man team, but he is the quarterback, so he has a big role in pushing his entire team. Pathos. I'm extremely sorry. We were hoping for an undefeated season. He shows them his sympathy for them, and he knows that he needs to do better, and he shows them his goal for their entire season. <clears throat> Logos. You will never see any player in the country play as hard as I will. This is where he shows himself and how hard he will play. And he can't really control the rest of his team and how hard they play, but he knows that he can control himself. As you can see, Tim Tebow's speech was one of the greatest in college football, and it will be around for as long as we will live. Thank you.